true worshipers. So I worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Let us pray. The morning prayer of the Lord. My Heavenly Father, we thank you through Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, that you kept us safe from all evil and danger last night. Save us, we pray, today as well, from every evil and sin, so that all we do and all that we say and the way that we live will please you. We put ourselves in your care, body and soul and all that we have. May your holy angels be with us so that the evil enemy will not gain power over us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, our hope and song uh, will be my brother, uh, the music director for right now, Mr. Rob Collier. We thank God for him being here this morning. Uh, Sister Mary was working on everything and she fell ill, so uh, we're just going to go on anyhow, okay? And I'm just going to share with you the one uh, scripture that Mary uh, put in for me to read for you today. And then uh, Rob's going to sing the song and uh, we are going to celebrate the word of God. Yes. So go ahead, brother Bob was saying, and uh, uh, we'll have that, and uh, then we'll move on. Amen. Amen. Our scripture this morning will be from uh, the gospel of uh, the gospel of Mark, and uh, we'll read it in, in pleasure of God and God's word. Amen. Here we go. God, our guide and our protector. Well, that's not the word. The rules early in the morning. I lost my place. <laughs> I lost my place. But let me find it back. Call, family, worship. Prayer, reading for the song, amen. And I just have to go over to my Bible reading. We're going to read from the Gospel of John, there in that 20th chapter, where he tells Jesus to feed his sheep. <laughs> ah, that was a great sermon. Okay, here we go. Then uh, they were there, and the third time Jesus showed himself to his disciples that he was raised from the dead. So when they eat breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, uh, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, uh, Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said to him, Feed me. He said to him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Well, show that. I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walk where you wish. But when you're old, you will stretch out your hand, and another will gird you and carry you wherever you got to go. And then he spoke, signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, church, he said to him, Follow me. Oh, so I'll say, I'm excited. <laughs> The Father Jesus. The boy had a lot of in it. It was a, a song. And then the next thing we hear is God's word being preached. And then our prayers and our benediction. Oh, I am the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, I 
be stones and the bread. But I will perceive that everything that comes out of my mouth will be with the word of God. And so David said, be pleased about the way you are. No matter what your condition is right now, no matter how you live, no matter where you live, no matter where you have a job or not a job, not a big bank account, not a big home, be, as Paul said, uh, uh, at times like this, uh, be content in a base uh, in your name. Uh, for, uh, while I don't know about the law, I do know this, that God said that if I, if I just hold on to his unchanging hand, he said, if I can sit down and eat without recognizing what a man or woman got a title in front of the name, if I can call somebody from the highway and the byway and down by the hedges to come in to my house, and if I can host David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord God is good. You have to be invited to taste the goodness of God. God's grace is sufficient. And as I walk the streets and I run this race, I keep in front of me the word of God and I keep in back of me that thought that he gave to Peter. Peter! Uh, Love style more than me. He calls us to feed the hungry. There at the end of the Gospel of Matthew, he said, give food to the hungry. Yeah. Now, he didn't uh, take out his little book and, and say, take this checklist with you. Huh. Uh, do they have an address? <laughs> Amen. Uh, do they come with a zip code? <laughs> Amen. Uh, have, have, have they been vaccinated? Amen. Did they, did they get the, 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 the shots? Amen. Uh, do you know if they completed the education? Amen. And, 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 and check off the list that Jesus walked up and said, uh, Peter, uh, love us now more than these. Yes, Lord, I love them. Well, tell me how to check this for this. <laughs> if you love them, uh, all you got to do is feed them. Yes. If you love them, all you got to do is hold them. Yeah. If you love them, all you got to do is bring them drink. If you love them, uh, as you say you love me, then there, there's no condition about what we do to love the people of God today. Church! Love style more than me. Uh, uh, love your clothes uh, more than me. Uh, love your job uh, uh, more than me. Uh, love your title uh, more than me. Uh, love us not at home uh, more than me. Uh, love somebody else more than me. Uh, if that is the case, let me bring you back home again and bring you down to the vineyard. And I want you to just walk here through the meadow with me. And I want you to smell, just kind of sniff and, and the kind of, and is there a room with it? Uh, is it kind of a mist beginning to fall on the floor? Do you begin to feel uh, something that a little wet? Uh, do you begin to, to feel a little abrasion as you're walking with me uh, down by the road? Uh, 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 look out at the tulips and, and see how they spray in my name. Uh, I look down at the wall uh, that I took um, my disciples to. Uh, there next to the jar. It's almost like the wall that they built for Vietnam veterans this past week where people just went and they fixed the wall of a family member that had died. Uh, they went down a little farther to the grave of unknown soldiers uh, where men and women uh, in World War II didn't come back home yet. But uh, the people were standing there, looking at their flags, and, and hearing taps being played. And then all of a sudden, uh, that song of the dead began to rise, and those words began to speak, and uh, the soldiers uh, came uh, to uh, attention, and the bright showed on, and uh, the color guard marched down uh, upon the station. And then that little bag clock player uh, uh, in his green red and Augusta skirt said, uh, in his own way, uh, amazing grace. Save a wretch like that one was lost, but now I'm found. Twas blind, and now I see. It was grace that took me on home. Grace that led me down by the cross of Calvary. Grace that covered my sins. Blood, it was grace that resurrected my Savior to the right hand of God. But it was not grace 
every now and then. I just got to stop and sit and close my eyes and think about mama and, and daddy. And the words of Jesus are gone to prepare a place for you. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving time comes around. I think about how mama took her sons and told us we had to prepare for guests to come and be at home with us. Every now and then you got to stop and say to yourself, what do I need to do to get prepared for the coming of the Lord? What do I need to do to get prepared for Advent to start next week? I got to lay down my burdens and I got to lift up my joys. I got to close my eyes to the anxiousness of sleep. And I got to pray throughout the night that angels sit by heaven will watch over me. I want you to know, church, some days is I, I, I'm close. Some days and sometimes I'm so low and I'm tired and I'm worn out. And I just want something to come and lift me up. I, I don't want anybody to give me some bread more. No, 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 no. I don't want some onshore or some boots. I, I, I just want somebody to come by and say something that and it makes me feel like I want to shout uh, from the goodness of God. But some days I, I don't even have that in me. And then I, it feels like in, in, in the twinkling of an eye, the Father dispatches 10,000 angels to fly away. And it's just not for me. It's for all those who are going through something. That are kind of down because they don't know how to say thank you. And more than that, kind of hopeless, because nobody's had any courage. But today, this morning, I want to tell you that God will not let you down. I want you to know for myself that God is on your side. If you need something, pray with faith for a miracle. See, uh, people will look for something, they're praying for God just to give it to them. But you've got to pray that God will bless you with a miracle. And you've got to pray that a miracle will be your blessing. And if you pray and praise God all the day long, yes. you can't do anything but like I when I open my eyes and sing that old, old song, huh? old Darcy, he said, he sweet, I know.
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Now, take this all into the next week. Let, let us go back to old, old songs that you sing today. Take this all into the next week. Now. Oh, 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 to Jesus I surrender all to Him I free. God for your blessings today, for the blessings that were sent this past week. Next Sunday, November 21st, we celebrate Thanksgiving, the blessing of God, not only for those who sit around the table and enjoy all the gratuitous way of living, but we celebrate those who welcome in others less fortunate, home, homeless and, and lonely and weary. Well, we celebrate Thanksgiving as a time to open our doors and our hearts and see the needs of others, to grant hope and faith to those who are, who've been walking down roads of entrapment and those who are weary from using up energy to just trying to survive. We pray for uh, the sick and the shut-in of the world and those who are members of this family of faith. That we ask God to lift them up and raise up their hope and encourage their faith to know that sorrow might last a little while. Morning might be born uh, the unpleasantness of your heart, but joy will come in the morning. Now, not just when the sun rises and the cloud pull back, but the morning is the time that the joy will enter to your heart and you will grasp without straws uh, the beautifulness of God hearing the birds sing and, and seeing the roses open up and seeing the grass turn green and feeling the, the turning of the leaves from one color to another. That's the morning. That's, that's when the grass raised and uh, that's when God is speaking and he's speaking right now to those uh, who need him just to touch him just wherever you are 
Just say, Lord, just touch me. If you're in front of your, your, your iPad or your, your iSmartphone or, or your Vizio TV or you're standing under the tree or you're sitting on your back porch or you're sipping some coffee at the dining room table, just touch yourself and say, Lord, I pray that you'll touch me right now and deliver me. Uh, we pray this morning for our sister church, Bethlehem, that is installing a new pastor. Uh, God, uh, be with them. We're praying for all the agencies right now that are putting together food baskets yes. and care baskets that no one will let, let it be left uh, unattended on Thanksgiving Day that even the smallest child will say, Mama, can I have uh, another helping? Oh, thank you, Jesus. And, oh, Lord, bless somebody this morning. Bless the children. Oh, God, bless somebody today. Somebody needs to hear from you, Lord. Bless a mother. Bless a widow. Bless a widower. Bless our armed service men and women. Bless young people away from home for the first time. Bless family members that have been called home from the coronavirus. Bless members of our family, mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and bless friends and church members that are going through something, lost somebody, mourning somebody, hearing about somebody's cancer, touch somebody, are going through the droughts and the doubts of living. Bless somebody that is looking at the edge to give up their life over on the bridge. Be with us this morning, oh God, as we give thanks. <laughs> On this day.
love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Abide, dwell, and be with thee henceforth and forevermore. Let us all together raise our hands. Amen.